I say it's been a little while so welcome back and I guess welcome back for me as well a lot has changed since you last saw me and a little bit has changed since you last saw the Silverado Trail Boss um, I added a rooftop tent and a rack the channels gonna be involving a little bit of that coming up and uh, as far as myself a lot has changed so it's no secret uh, I mentioned it a couple times I'm in the Canadian Armed Forces and uh, since you guys last saw me I've been deployed a few times and on some other taskings and I've also gotten a posting message and that means we're gonna be moving so ADP off-road is relocating luckily it's to a place I'm familiar with and it's to a place that's very friendly for this kind of content off-road in the outdoors it's Goose Bay Labrador, a place where I've been before, heading back, going home. Pretty excited about that, and I sold my house already. It's going to be literally a matter of weeks before I relocate. So I think that's pretty cool, and it should be very good for the channel. And I have a lot of upcoming cool purchases. I'm going to try to keep some of it a surprise, but it's all about life in Labrador, and it should be pretty damn good for the channel. All right, so today, let's get into it. What I'm doing is meeting my brother at a couple of semi-local trails, and he's bringing his Ram Power Wagon. I'm bringing, obviously, the Silverado Trail Boss, and we're gonna check out some moderate off-road trails today. Um, hoping not to destroy our trucks in terms of, I don't care about how rough it gets in terms of the actual terrain. What I do care about is how tight it gets with the uh, you know e Eastern Canada um, brush. That's just needless for us. I'm not uh, driving a small vehicle and neither is he. So we're gonna hopefully find some open trails, a little bit wider. And uh, like I said, the terrain itself is not an issue, but we're gonna be exploring because it's a place where neither of us have been. Now, what do I have for comforts today? So I'm using this as a bit of a shakeout for my camp setup. I have uh, my ARB fridge in the back with my running off my Jackery and of course when, I'm, when the truck's running, it's all running off the truck's power. But uh, I got it filled with drinks. I brought some some steaks or some uh, kebabs rather. I have my camp stove, I have uh, a bunch of other stuff basically that we're gonna use just for a trail side lunch, but I also just I'm kinda using it as my shakeout for, uh, for my camping stuff to make sure everything works well together. See how it rumbles off road and sh stuff like that. Anyways guys, We'll skip to uh, the fun parts. I think the next thing you'll see is a walk around for my truck. Maybe walk around for my brother's truck and uh, intro for him. It's been a long time since I saw my brother as well. These Ontario COVID lockdowns has, have been killing us. So they're essentially over now. I think we're on the right track, so they should stay over. And life is kind of returning back to normal finally for us here in Ontario. So let's get into it, guys. We'll see you out there shortly. Cool, we made it to some gravel at least. Can you see some glimpses of that mean looking power wagon in the rear view? The trail's in a boat. We've still got another seven or eight kilometers before we actually get to the trail. I'm not really ready to talk right now. I'll talk to you soon though. They're both recording for now. My truck is filled with mosquitoes already, just from that. I've got my window open the whole time.
Is this the most off-road you've done in your truck yet? <laughs> I've done basically trails like this, but not a lot. Uh, but literally no worse than this. Maybe a little bit of mud, that's it. Yeah, I had the same thing. I wonder if we'll need 4 by 4 at all. I think there's some stuff on these, man. From, uh, from the reviews, anyways, there's a little bit of fun to be had. I'll jump in with some narration here. We definitely needed 4x4 in this trip. And a little spoiler here, I was nowhere near the trail I thought I was on. Turns out the app I was using for GPS didn't work offline and I didn't download the GPS files ahead of time. So we took a guess and I guessed very, very wrong. One option I wish my truck had that it doesn't is the front camera. Yeah, that's sweet. The, uh, the uh, Nissan will have that. I had some plans to buy the new Nissan Frontier, but I think my plans have changed since then, so more to follow there. I'm trying to wait for you so I can get some GoPro footage. I heard a loud, a loud sound. I don't know what that was. Probably you running over my GoPro Hero 8 that fell off my trailer hitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still there. You're fine. Uh, is the one on the tow hook still? Yeah, I can see it. I get nervous. I only have six GoPros. Yeah, you'd totally be out of commission if you lost one. And this branch is pissing me off right here. I have a chainsaw. There are actually quite a bit of ticks around here. And you're in sandals. Idiot. Man, ticks are just a part of life now. They're everywhere. It's that one that can ruin red meat for you that really concerns me, not Lyme disease. There's a tick that ruins red meat. Yeah, if you get bit by it and it's carrying, I can't remember what it is called, but uh, basically it makes you like deathly allergic to red meat. Yeah, man, they're here. Turn around. We're going home. <laughs> they're probably in your backyard, even. I'm moving to the city. Moving to the country.
you're gonna scratch up the whole right side of your truck because you have a GoPro. <laughs> I was trying to remember if that one that you have there is mine. Well, the small session is I have that here too. She's getting tight. Tight, tight, tight. There's like the edges of this trail are not there, so I don't know how much width we have. I guess we're gonna find out. You should have went first. You. Do you know how much work it is every time a cuss word is said to bleep it out? And sometimes I miss them and then it makes it not family friendly and then I get YouTube complaints. I wonder if this is the trail. Yep, this is the point that we're starting to clue in. <laughs> oh, God. There wasn't like a fork option or anything in the way. Just a spoon. Oh, we're good then. Okay, I don't want to go too far right now. <laughs> to protect the GoPro, look what's to the right of us. Your truck rolls, the GoPro's fine. Phew. I don't think so, unless I just got extremely lucky. You could have just said no. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, yeah, this is what it's like to off-road in, like, central eastern Ontario. It's very thick. Oh. It's something. I just heard some crunch. So yeah, this is why uh, we ride side-by-sides. Now don't get me wrong, this is a lot of fun. And on that note guys, I got lots of side-by-side -side videos to come. My Z-Force 1000 and Z-Force 500 from CF Moto are still going strong. Back. There's water up here too. She's getting scratched. I just put it in four low. Huh? Yeah, bruh, it's flooded. I don't know what's under here. Mosquitoes are killing me in here. See? <laughs> gotcha. Let's go. And at this point, there was officially no trail in sight. I was just hoping that the trail picked back up after the flooded area.
can you see what we're dealing with here because there's a there's some sticks and logs blocking one side the center seems to be an option but guaranteed it's really deep there no all i can see is you i'm gonna go straight up to the sticks and see uh i don't i think that's too too big to hammer over sticks and logs aka beaver dam I could try. Oh yeah, it gets really deep here because of them. I'm dead. <laughs> Where's that G80? I want to, uh, I want you to try that. I can't exactly go around you, bruh. Yeah, back up a bit. Let me take the center, because it gets really deep because of it too, man. Oh yeah, that's too big. I was probably pushing it right up against my bumper. I'm getting some good photos. Oh God. And to see some of those photos, guys, don't forget to check out my Instagram. Link is in the description. She's pretty deep, dude. It's because there's a blockage here in the trail and it's causing it to flood. No dumbass, it's because you're not on the trail. So how the hell can you go around that though? You might be able to go through the center, but I just need to position myself to get over there. Is buddy, is my GoPro still on my thing? I actually think I can see it on my rear view camera. Stop backing up. Yeah. I would never find it if it fell off in here. Bro, I think this is too deep. <laughs> Judging by the angle of your truck. <laughs> it is too deep, man. I want you to come to where I am, though. So back out a bit and we'll see if I can uh, switch around. I wonder if we can pull that blockage out. Like, just hook the winch up to it and pull it or something. My brother is itching to use the winch on his power wagon. When I say it's too deep. She's deep. Honestly, I think there's very little chance you're going to proceed, but I just think you would like it. Do you think this is as far as we go? Well, I think we need to maybe find another way or something because, bruh, you got to check it out. 
You could just jump in my passenger seat if you want. Get that thing out of the way. It doesn't look that bad actually, but I think it's going to get deeper when you start turning. Like your uh, muffler is just basically over top of the surface of the water now. Maybe the center is a better option. I don't really know how deep it goes. Like to my left here? Yeah, to your left around the dam basically. I can try, just, just spot me, okay? Like as best you can. That's the thing is you need somebody to say, oh shit, no, you're getting too deep because it's really hard to tell. Yeah, mine was making some weird sounds. This view is brought to you by a GoPro with the battery cover off so I could hook it up to external power. Meaning, not waterproof. This is not good. Are you stuck there? No, your muffler is not underwater. It's just jammed up against a tree. It's not. <laughs> it's not jammed up against a tree. You can't go forward or backwards? Let's hear those sweet power wagon sounds. See, I read trail reports and I let us here just for this very reason. This is my moment. What are we gonna do? You're gonna have to hook up a strap to my uh, front tow hook and I'm gonna reverse. The water's coming into my truck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> You have your you have your strap handy cuz I'll we have to get after it. Yeah, and my truck's making weird sounds. Get over here. My truck is making some weird sounds too. Traction control. Eric, where's your strap? Oh, you want me to get it? Passenger side. Usually, the one who gets stuck is the one to get dirty. You gotta do what you gotta do. So then why are you not getting the toe strap? Because mine aren't. I can't open my door right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
A few moments later. Can you see the strap? Yeah, I can see it. Can you see it on my truck too? Still lots of fly. Not getting wound around my axle or something though? No, seems good. My remote says one GoPro detected. Alright, you're tight now. Chevrolet power, baby. I'm gonna pull again. Go. You want to keep reversing out on the on the line? My truck's giving me a no traction control light, but I don't know if that's just because I'm in four low. Confirmed. That's all it was. And the water's pouring out from like under inside my actual door, underneath my floor. You'll be all right, man. It's designed for that. I'm not gonna like this video. On that note, you guys should all hit that like button if you did like this video. All the dislikes are from power wagon owners. Holy <laughs> you just felt some Chevy power there. My truck didn't actually move. Okay guys, thanks for bearing with me on this misadventure. We ended up trying again and actually finding the right trail the next weekend. I'll be posting a video of that soon. We called in after this and just had a nice trailside lunch. Bruh, this is pretty cool. All of you waiting for some side-by-side -side and ATV updates, stay tuned, they're coming. I also have a couple of new toys and some big news. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And take care guys, until next time. What? It says what now? Nothing. <laughs>